welcome to quadratic nth term uh, just before we start just a reminder that there is a notes chapter available uh, for this video just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video okay so in today's video what we're going to look at is how to find the nth term of a quadratic sequence um, now the first thing is we should know uh, what a quadratic sequence actually looks like and it is a sequence based around the square numbers um, but the key uh, for identifying a, a quadratic sequence is looking at the differences between the values so um, in the first case here we've got a difference of three followed by a difference of five followed by a difference of seven, followed by a difference of nine. Now there is no common theme there until we look at the second level. And the second level difference from three to five is two, from five to seven is two, and from seven to nine is two. It is this second level difference being the same, which is the identifier of a quadratic sequence. And actually it's a very important feature of the nth term as well. Now, the reason it is important is that this number tells us how many n squared the sequence is actually based on. And what we need to do is we need to half this. Okay, Whatever the, um, whatever the second level difference is, we half that number. And therefore, half of 2 is 1. And so we are dealing with something to do with 1 n squared. Now basically that means we are just looking at the square numbers and so the first thing I've done here is I've made myself a table that includes the original sequence followed by something to do with n squared and in this case it's just 1 n squared so it's one lot of the square numbers. So that is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Now we know that this sequence is something to do with n squared. We want to know what has happened to n squared to create that sequence. And so what we do is we subtract. And so in all the way along here, we are subtracting the n squared terms from the sequence. So 5 take away 1 is 4. 8 take away 4 is 4. 13 take away 9, 4, 4, and 4. And so because this term is always the same, it is always a 4, that is telling me that the sequence that we are actually dealing with is n squared, coming from here, plus 4, because we've always added on 4 to those square numbers. And basically, that is the formula for 5, 8, 13, 20, 29. We have taken the square numbers and we've added 4. Let's try that again with this one. Negative 1, 2, 7, 14, 23. We begin by checking what the difference is. So we've got 3, then we have 5, then we have 7, then we have 9. So what is the second level difference? Well, it's 2, it's 2, it's 2. So because it has the same second level difference, that is our uh, clue that it's to do with the square numbers. And so once again, half this amount, half the 2 is 1. So again, this is to do with just the basic square numbers. It's to do with 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. And so now all we're going to do is we're going to do a subtraction again. Negative 1, take away 1. Negative 2, 2 take away 4. Negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. And so that's telling me that my sequence must be n squared. And every single time we subtracted 2. And so that is the sequence n squared take away 2. So one more. 2, 7, 14, 23, 34. Well, 2 to 7 is a difference of 5. 7 to 14 is a difference of 7. 14 to 23 is a difference of 9. 23 to 34 is a difference of 11. Let's have a look at the second level difference. Well, the second level difference is 2 and 2 and 2. Once again, this is saying that we've got a quadratic sequence. And again, it's telling us that we need to half this amount. And so, half 2 is 1. So again, I'm only dealing with the original square numbers. So 1, 4, 9, 
1625 but in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the values once again 2 take away 1 is 1 7 take away 4 is 3 14 take away 9 5 23 take away 16 7 34 take away 25 9 now this is slightly different to what we've seen in the previous uh, couple of uh, examples because these are not the same number every time what we've actually got here is a sequence one three five seven nine this is an additional sequence it is a linear sequence it goes up by two each time and so if I'm going to find the nth term for the entire sequence I also need to work out the nth term of this linear sequence element and therefore because it goes up by 2 each time well this sequence must be to do with 2n how do I get from 2 to 1? well I take away 1 and therefore the piece that is added on to each term is 2n minus 1 but I need to bring back my n squared and so it was n squared plus 2n take away 1. Now let's just see if we, uh, we're actually correct with this. Let's do a little substitution just to make sure that we've definitely got the right answer. Let's go with the third term of the sequence. So the third term would mean it was 3 squared plus 2 lots of 3 take away 1. Well 3 squared is 9. 2 times 3 is 6 take away 1 so 9 plus 6 is 15 take away 1 is 14 is that the answer we were expecting yes it is we saw it said it was 14 in the sequence and so this is the correct rule for that sequence let's try again with 2 10 20 32 46 well again let's just go for those first level differences 2 to 10 is 8 10 to 20 is 10 20 to 32 is 12 uh, 32 to 46 is 14 what's happening in between well that's gone up by 2 it's gone up by 2 it's gone up by 2 and so there's our proof that we've got a quadratic sequence and again we want to half this value so let's put 1 in here and that means again we're dealing with the uh, normal square numbers so that's 1 and 4 and 9 and 16 and 25 and again we're going to subtract those to see what the difference is between the square numbers and the sequence so 2 take away 1 is 1 10 take away 4 is 6 20 take away 9 is 11 32 take away 16 is 16 46 take away 25 is 21 again this is not the same value every time but what we do have is another linear sequence because that is a difference of 5 a difference of 5 a difference of 5 and a difference of 5 meaning that the uh, leftovers here have a formula of 5n and how do I get from 5 to 1 well I take away 4 and so this piece has a formula of 5n take away 4 but we've got to remember to bring back our n squared so n squared plus 5n take away 4 let's see if that works just uh, in this case let's go with the second term in the sequence so in the second term of the sequence that will be 2 squared plus 5 lots of 2 take away 4 well 2 squared is 4 5 lots of 2 is 10 and take away 4 well that equals 10 is it what we were expecting yes it is so there we go there is our correct formula okay so next 3 7 15 27 43 let's see what's going on in this case so it's going up by 4 and then by 8 and then by 12 and then by 16 so let's look at the second level difference here we've got 4 4 4 now again this time this is our evidence that we've got a quadratic sequence uh, because the second level difference is the same but this time we've got a second level difference of 4 we still need to half this 
that's still the case. Um, but this time it means that our sequence is actually to do with 2 n squared. And so what this means is it's two lots of the normal um, square numbers. So 1 n squared was 1, and so in this case it's 2. 2 n squared was, uh, sorry, two, uh, n squared uh, would have been 4, so 2 lots of that is 8. n squared would have been 9, so 18. Um, n squared would have been 16, so 2 lots of that's 32. And n squared would have been 25, so 2 lots of that is 50. And so, just as before, um, now that we've got our table, we're going to subtract those values. So, 3 take away 2 is 1. 7 take away 8 is negative 1. 15 take away 18 is negative 3. 27 take away 32 is negative 5. And 43 take away 50 is negative 7. Now, once again, this is a sequence. It is a decreasing sequence. It's going down by 2 each time, so negative 2 in this case, meaning that this sequence has an nth term formula of negative 2n. And then how do I get from negative 2 to 1, which is the first term in sequence? Well, I would add 3. And so this means that I need to bring back the 2n squared and add it together with the nth term of the linear sequence, I have 2n squared, take away 2n, plus 3. Again, we can check that that is the correct answer. Let's go, let's just go with the first term of the sequence. So the first term of the sequence would mean it's 2 lots of 1 squared, take away 2 lots of 1, plus 3. Well, 2 lots of 1 squared is 2, take away 2 lots of 1 is 0, plus 3, equals 3. Is that what we expected? Yes, it is. And so 2n squared, take away 2n, plus 3, is the nth term formula for this sequence. Let's have a go at one more. So 5, 8, 16, 29, 47. Well, the first level difference is 3, followed by 8, followed by 13, followed by 18. What is this going up by? Well, in each case, it's going up by 5, 5, 5. And so, in this case, um, we need to have a look at our second level difference. It's 5 this time. We need to half this. And so, we've actually got 2.5 n squared. Now, all that means is we've got 2.5 lots of each of our n squared uh, n squared values. So n squared would have been 1. So 2.5 lots of that is 2.5. Um, n squared would have been 4. So 2.5 lots of that is 10. n squared would have been 9. So 9 times 2.5. Well, that's 22.5. Um, then we would have had 16 times 2.5. So that's 40. And then we would add 25, so 25 times 2.5, well that is 50, 62.5. Okay, so we are then, in exactly the same way, we're just going to subtract those values. So 5 take away 2.5 is 2.5, 8 take away 10 is negative 2. 16 take away 22.5, well that is negative 6.5. 29 take away 40 is negative 11. And 47 take away 62.5, well that is negative 15.5. Now again, this one's not quite as obvious that it's a linear sequence, but if we have a look there, we've taken away 4.5, we've taken away 4.5, we've taken away 4.5, and we've taken away 4.5. And so the nth term of the linear sequence is negative 4.5n. How do I get from negative 4.5 to 2.5? Well, I would have to add 7. And then the 2.5n squared must be at the front. 2.5n squared take away 4.5n plus 7. Now again, let's just check because that's a very complicated uh, formula. Let's just check that it actually works. Again, let's just deal with the first term in the sequence. 
So that is 2.5 lots of 1 squared. Take away 4.5 lots of 1 and add on 7. Well, 2.5 lots of 1 squared is 2.5. Take away 4.5. So that is negative 2 plus 7. That equals 5. Is that what we expected? Yes, it is. Okay, so we end with the exam question. It came from the Edexcel specimen papers and it was on higher paper 2. And it says that the first five terms of a quadratic sequence are 1, 3, 7, 13, 21. We want to find an expression in terms of n for the nth term of this quadratic sequence. So the first thing is, with it being a quadratic sequence, the first, I need to find out what the second level difference is. So 1 to 3 is 2, 3 to 7 is 4, 7 to 13 is 6, 13 to 21 is 8, and so the second level difference is 2. And so, remember this, we always half. And so I'm going to begin with my original sequence, 1, 3, 7, 13, 21. I'm then going to write down my sequence, which is n squared, because half of 2 is 1, so just n squared. So that's 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Then I'm going to subtract those two. So 1 take away 1 is 0, 3 take away 4, negative 1, 7 take away 9, negative 2, 13 take away 16, negative 3, 21 take away 25, negative 4. And I need to find the nth term of this uh, sequence. And so, in this case, it's going down by 1 every time. If it's going down by 1 every time, that means it's negative n or negative 1n. How do I get from negative 1 to 0? I add 1. And so the nth term of the linear part is negative n plus 1. But we need to bring back our n squared. So n squared Take away n plus 1.